If you want to get into programming but you don't know where to start, Python for Everybody is for you. This is probably the simplest, the best explained course that I have found online throughout the years and I keep recommending that to basically all my friends, uh, all my colleagues that want to get into programming but don't know where to start. Uh, the pluses for that is of course Python is the, the easiest language to learn in the end because the grammar, the, the syntax for, for Python is really simple. You can quickly start uh, processing data because Python is mostly used for data science. So for example, if you want to use coding in your work because for example, you want to see what are the outliers in your data and you have thousands of documents to process, Python will be the easiest to do. It's not the fastest language, uh, it's not the most effective one. Uh, you will have like C++, which is better. Rust might do some of the stuff let, uh, better, JavaScript and so on. But Python will get the job done and it will get the job done in a way which is simple to understand and also read the code for all the others. Uh, so if you're looking for a way to enter into programming because also you might want to change your career from uh, more, I don't know, social sciences, arts, and you don't know where to start, again, Python is a great language to start and Python for everybody specialization uh, is the best way to do it in general, really. Uh, so if you will look down below, it's basically starting with how to install Python and write your first program. The specialization itself has a bunch of courses that will give you all the knowledge uh, for uh, different stuff. So as you can see, uh, there are a couple things uh, you can see. Um, yeah, uh, starting with the course number one, uh, Python programming for everybody. This is really uh, the easiest of the easiest thing, uh, explaining everything about what is programming, Python's different data structures and so on. Uh, and then you process to get into those data structures more. So generally speaking, uh, the idea is that you will be able to process some data with Python. As you can see, the, the, the course number three is already uh, trying to uh, access data from the web. So the idea is that you'll be able to download some data, scrape the data from the web, and then be able to process that uh, in different formats, uh, which is great, which is super useful. And of course, uh, anybody trying to learn uh, how to code should process the, like JSONs or, or Excel spreadsheets and stuff like that, or the CSVs, uh, because that's super useful in the end. Uh, so then databases for the course number four, how to interact with Python SQL. Uh, so you might use SQL at your own uh, uh, current uh, job if you're doing more data analytics stuff. Uh, so if you already know SQL, this also will be uh, easy and useful. Uh, and then you have uh, course number five, uh, which is basically the project. Generally speaking, it's super cool. Uh, you are you have flexible uh, flexible schedule. You can learn a lot of cool things and basically this is the, the the introduction to python that if i were to search for a course i would really recommend that right away most of all uh, after all you basically uh, getting a certificate from university of michigan uh, from the us which is also great and as you can see uh, that course is a part of the master of applied data science degree uh, so coursera has this uh, degrees, the master degrees you can get. And basically those are different courses on Coursera bundled together uh, that will allow you to get a proper degree in the end. I really recommend reading about that. Uh, for now, uh, check it, uh, check the Python course uh, down below. I will post the link to Python for Everybody specialization. Uh, that will give you, uh, basically this will, this will be my referral code to Python. Uh, so feel free to use it. Uh, it might give you some kind of a discount depending on Coursera in a given per period of time. Uh, happy, to, uh, happy to answer any questions you might have about the course, about learning Python or about getting into data science. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode. And of course, happy learning.